Hello everybody, welcome back to Orion's Girl 93. I have a new book for you today called Relaxing Dot to Dot Under the Sea. Um, this is a Carlton books. Um, it is, it says it can de-stress you, but <laughs> I'm not sure about all that. Um, really pretty picture though, I have to give them that. There's the spine. It doesn't say how many pictures that are in here. Um, yeah, this one is says relaxing, so yeah, take a look. This is the relaxing one. Let me get up a little closer if you can see that. This is a jellyfish, by the way. Let me show you the extreme one. I will be doing a flip through of this, this extreme one. But this is the relaxing easy one. And this is also by Color 10 Books. This one is the extreme pinup girls. But at least there's in different colors so you can follow along a little easier. But anyways, back to this book. Okay, I did try one of these. It went from one to a thousand. It was a fish. It really did take my mind off stuff because I was so busy looking for all the numbers. Um, but I have kind of bad eyes, so it, you know, it, you really got to be able to see what you're doing. I had to get a magnifying glass and put it over here with the light so I could see, and then I had no issues at all. But um, I do like how it tells you what it's going to be. Like this is going to be a seahorse. You can you know obviously tell it's a seahorse. Um, and once you decorate it, you can color it however you want. They are non-perforated, single-sided, sorta technically, because the um, description for the following pages on the back of each page. Blue whale. I just really wanted to give you a show so you can kind of see what it looks like and how you know detailed. I know some people that love dot to dots, so this would be a wonderful book for you to pick up. Crab. This is the one I tried. Like I said, you know, I got all in there, and then I put. Um, you can see all the black. I did. And then I went over it with some Posca pins. First, I did the background. I used um, Color Burst, Ken Oliver Color Burst, in the different blues, and and I just let it kind of look like an underwater scene, and you know, let the ink move around. And then when it completely dried, it did soak through, but that's fine. It doesn't bother me at all because it's just on the other page. Um, when it completely dried the next day, I just put a few little bubbles and went around it with the Posca pen. And, um, you know, it's not bad. I kind of like it. Okay. Seashell. A fish. I'm not quite sure, but we can definitely tell that's a shark. Fish. A whale. These are really cool though. But like I said that day, I just sat here. I had my little magnifying glass with a light. This is what I use for my old eyes. I use one of these. And it lights up. I got it from Amazon. It was under 20 bucks. I think it was like 12. And I hook it onto this table. This table raises. It's like a lap table. And you hook it on and you can see see kind of you can see really good if you're like me and you're blind as a bat so it's a you know good investment and you can also bring it you know sometimes i'll bring it in bed so i can see what i'm doing on a reading or whatever it's got a little light in it not affiliated just letting you know this is the sea turtle from the cover so you kind of know what it's going to look like we got a whale. You can see he's blowing the water up. Shark. Stingray. Another crab. Octopus. This octopus. I saw a picture of it on the internet and it looks like it 
when you color it, it's really, really pretty. So lobster, jellyfish, different turtle. Oh, this one looks crazy. Um, I think they all go to up to a thousand. One to a thousand. A lionfish. Sea turtle. A fish. I have no idea. I can't see a fish in here. Another fish. Fish. A shell. Another shell. Starfish. Crab. Seahorse. Yeah, I believe that when I do some more of these, I'll be watercoloring the background. Or, oh, it's another octopus. Or I'll be doing the, um, the Ken Oliver's Starburst on the back. If y'all want me to show you how I did that, just let me know in the comments and I'll be glad to maybe do a stream, a, a live demo, or just do a demo of it on here. Just uh, let me know. It's not a problem. It's a lot of fun, actually. And then at the very back, it gives you uh, what they'll look like once they are done. Not a cheat sheet, but you know. Hey, sometimes you need a, a little. This is the one I did, the fish. You can see it up close a little bit. This light is terrible today. Um, some of these are just really, really pretty. I love this jellyfish. And the whale. I can just picture what it's going to look like colored in. I love, love, love this fish too. Just a little patience. And a good magnifying glass. And you will be fine. It's a great, great book. I'll uh, post where you can purchase this at. Um, Carlton Books was kind enough to send this to me. So, um... I will definitely post where you can purchase this at. It's a great, great book. Alright, that's the end. That's that really pretty one that I like, that jellyfish. Alright. Okay, if you have any questions, or like I said, if you want to see a demo of the color burst that I did, there's different colors. That's, those, those were just two or three of the colors that I had. Just let me know in the comment box, and I'll be glad to do one. Um... Um, thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I would love it if you would subscribe and hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.